Hey everybody, I'm out in the shop right now about to refill my cooling system on the Colorado and try out a new tool I just got in the mail today. A little backstory for my Colorado is it's had some cooling issues pretty much for the last few years that I've had it running. Something I noticed that was strange was it would cool down while sitting still if I brought the RPMs up to about 1500 RPM and the temperature would drop off. So I was thinking it was either a coolant flow issue. So I just pulled the thermostat, drilled a couple holes in it. The other thing I thought it could be is a air pocket. And so I ordered this tool off of Amazon. It is the Airlift vacuum fill tool. It's something that a lot of people recommended. You just hook it up to shop air and it pulls a vacuum on the cooling system. And this is what it looks like. I already have it set up in the radiator. So right now it's set up to hook up to the air hose and it will spit out any coolant remaining in the system out of that hose. I have the key on and the heater controls turn to heat because I don't know if it has a electric shutoff valve for the heater core so I just did that just in case. So I just need to hook up air pull a vacuum on the system and then we can hook up the other hose that will pull the new coolant in. So now that it is at 24 inches on the gauge, disconnect the air supply and the Venturi assembly. After 20 seconds, the gauge should not move, indicating there are no leaks. And it's holding steady. Connect the refill hose to the radiator neck adapter. Place screened end, which would be that. Place screen end in the coolant supply of your choice. Open ball valve and coolant will start to fill the vehicle cooling system. Coolant system is full when vacuum gauge reaches zero. In some vehicles, a second vacuum may be necessary. Okay, let's try this. Got a big drain pan full of the coolant that came out. I might add a little bit of water to this to make sure we don't run out. I wonder if it's because uh, I have the below well it went to zero maybe because I raised it up or I may have got the end of the hose out of the coolant so I might just pull vacuum on it a little bit again just to see what happens Seem to stop around 10. 
Let's see what happens. There now went down to zero a little easier. I think that might have been the trick was to put a little bit more vacuum on it. I think this would have worked better if I hadn't have used a, such a flat drain pan, like maybe a five gallon bucket or something. Let's see what else it says. Remove neck adapter from radiator. Overflow tank should be filled to proper level. Always allow cooling system to warm up before attaching radiator cap. Top up cooling system if necessary. Let's start it and see what it does. I'm kind of blocked in, so I can't really take it for a drive right now. if I plug the uh, mass airflow sensor in after I have the intake. been idling for about maybe eight or nine minutes we're up to about 176 degrees I'm pretty sure it would have been a lot higher than that and running the fans by now before I drilled a couple holes in the thermostat and refilled with the vacuum fill I don't know which one of those two things is really uh, responsible for this, for that, but uh, hopefully it's a sign of better cooling in general. It's currently around 100 degrees here today. Is sitting here idling for a while with the air conditioning on. It came up to 188 degrees, the fan picked up a little bit, and then dropped back down to 186 degrees. So one of those two things I think has helped so far a little bit. I'm not sure which one. Okay, so quick overview on the airlift coolant fill system after using it. My impression is I really like this tool. I think after going through the instructions the first time, uh, the second time I use it, it'll be much faster. It'll just be a matter of a few minutes of refilling a system. Some suggestions, I would say use like a five gallon bucket or maybe use extra coolant to make sure you uh, don't have to worry about running out. It comes with one, two, three, four, five different sizes. I ended up just using this, the one that came on it. This one's, I guess, like a universal to fit if, uh, if any of the other ones don't fit. It was pretty easy to use. I think uh, just about anybody would be able to figure it out. At the time that I got it, I think it was about 112 bucks on Amazon. If it works out to have improved my cooling system to get rid of any air pockets, then I'd say that's worth it easily. Plus, after using it once or twice, you'll be really quick at being able to refill a system. So, I think after a few uses, it'll be it'll be worth it, especially for people that work in the garage a lot. Um, I think that's all I have. I can update you guys later with another video. 
if I have any issues, but so far so good. Thanks for watching.